So good morning guys. I hope you guys will be safe in the home is there. So during this pandemic period, our classes will be going through the online mode. I hope you guys are enjoying and learning the system. And important thing you guys please, please be safe, okay? Clear. So for our last class we see about the magnetic properties of a material system. So what are the magnetic properties we see that uh, five properties we learn from this five property we learn some questions, right? So what's the first one? Magnetic field, is right? So guys, what is magnetic field? Uh, the magnetic field which is used to magnetize the specimen is called as a magnetic field. So what is magnetic field? Uh, the magnetic field which is used to magnetize the specimen is called as a magnetic field. Okay. And second one, magnet. Uh, one second one, magnetic permeability is that. So what is magnetic permeability? The magnetic permeability is the ability of material. What is that? The magnetic permeability is the ability of material to allow the passage of magnetic field and pass through it. Or the capacity of a substance to take a magnetization. Or the degree of penetration of a magnetic field and pass through it. That's called as a magnetic permeability. The next we see the relative permeability is right? So guys, what is relative permeability? Is the ratio of a absolute permeability in medium to the absolute permeability in vacuum. The next what's the point we see that the uh, intensity of magnetization is right? So guys, what is intensity of magnetization? The intensity of magnetization is defined as what is that? The intensity of magnetization is defined as a ratio of what is that? The intensity of magnetization is defined as the ratio of a magnetic moment per unit volume. From that we see the intensity of magnetization of bar magnetism. Right? So the intensity of magnetization of bar magnetism is defined as the ratio of a magnetic moment as a pole strength per unit area. What is that? Pole strength per unit area. Is right? The next what's the point we see that the uh, total magnetic field or magnetic induction is right? So the total magnetic field or magnetic field, what is that? The total magnetic field or the magnetic induction is defined as a uh, sum of a magnetic field produced in vacuum due to the magnetic field and the magnetic field produced in the induced magnetization of a substance. Further, we can see the expression, what's the expression? You see that uh, B vector is equal to B0 vector plus B H vector. So from this we get a mu0 into H plus mu0 into M. Mu0 is a common term we take it outside. So we get the value H by H vector plus M vector. Isn't it? Isn't it? The next one you see that the last one is the magnetic susceptibility. Isn't it? So the magnetic susceptibility is defined as the ratio of a my intensity of a magnetization to the magnetizing field. Isn't it? Intensity of a magnetization to the magnetizing field. Intensity of magnetization to the magnetizing field. Okay, clear, clear. So the next we are going to see about the classification of magnetic materials. So what's the point we are going to see that the, the classification of magnetic materials. Okay, so the magnetic materials are generally classified into three types based on the behavior of magnetic field. Okay, so based on the behavior of magnetic field, what is that? The based on the behavior of magnetic field, uh, the magnetic materials will be classified into three types. Okay, diamagnetic material, paramagnetic material, ferromagnetic materials. Okay, clear. So based on the properties, what is that? Or uh, based on the behavior of material when it is placed on a magnetic field, what is that? The based on the behavior of material when it is placed on a magnetic field, they are classified as three types. One is the paramagnetic, second one is the diamagnetic, third one is the ferromagnetic. So, the first we are going to see about the diamagnetic materials. Okay. So, the first one is the diamagnetic. Okay. So, the, we know that the atom, material composed of large number of atoms or molecules, and the molecule composed or the atom composed of the positive charge nucleus. Atom composed of the positive charge nucleus and the negative charge will be electron will be revolved around the nucleus. Is right? So the orbital motion of electron what is that? The orbital motion of electron around the nucleus producing a magnetic field. Okay? The orbital motion of electron around the nucleus producing a magnetic field which is perpendicular to the plane of orbit, which is perpendicular to the plane of our orbit. Okay? So each electron orbits, what is that? Each electron orbit having a Final orbital magnetic moment was one. Each electron they having a final orbital magnetic moment. Okay, so if you take a material means the metal having a large number of atoms.
electrons left. So they are having a large number of electrons. So each electron, what is done? The orbital, orbital pin of orbit electrons, what is done? The orbital motion of electrons will be orbited in a random manner. Okay, clear? So we take the material. Okay, the material they are having a large number of electrons. Okay, they are having a large number of electrons. Due to the orbital motion of electron around the nucleus, they are producing a magnetic field. Which is perpendicular to the plane of orbit. So, due to the motions, they are having a net magnetic momentum. They are having a net magnetic dipole momentum. So, they are having a large number of electrons. Each electron they are orbiting in a different manner. Each orbit, each electron they are orbiting in a different position. So, they are having a different magnetic moment. So, the net magnetic moment what is that? So, the net magnetic moment will be zero, or there is uh, no resultant magnetic moment. Okay? Because each electron is moving in a different manner, is right? So the net magnetic moment will be zero, or there is a zero resultant magnetic moment. Okay, clear? So we take the electrons, then we the materials. The material consists of a large number of electrons. The orbital motion of electrons producing a magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of orbit. So they are having a magnetic dipole moment. But each electron they have been orbited in different positions, right? So the net magnetic moment will be zero, or there is a zero resultant magnetic moment. Okay, there is a zero resultant magnetic moment. Okay, now when in the presence of magnetic field, okay, the presence of magnetic field, when this diamagnetic material are placed in a uh, magnetic field, what is that? When this diamagnetic materials are placed in a magnetic field, uh, sum of electrons are speed up. Sum of electrons are speed up, and the sum of the electrons are speed slow. Okay, why are the electrons are moving anti-parallel to the magnetic field? While the electrons are moving anti-parallel to the magnetic field, they are speed up according to the lens law. According to the lens law. So they are uh, so they producing an induced magnetic moment. What is that? They produce the induced magnetic moment. They align in the direction of a magnetic field. Okay, they align opposite to the direction of a magnetic field. For example, before applying electric field, the electrons are moving in a different directions. Okay, electrons are moving in a different direction. But when we are applying a magnetic field or in the presence of a magnetic field, okay, in the presence of a magnetic field, some of electrons will be speed up, some of electrons will be slow. Because the electrons are moving anti-parallel to the magnetic field, they are speed up according to the lens law. So they introduce an induced magnetic moment. What is that? They produce an induced magnetic moment. So these electrons are aligned opposite to the direction of what is that? These electrons are aligned opposite to the direction of a magnetic field. Okay? These electrons are aligned opposite to the field. So when the field will be disappears, the induced magnetic moment also disappears. Okay, well, as soon as the external field will be removed, the induced magnetic moment also disappears. Okay, then when it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, what is that? When it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, okay, so there is an interaction between the induced magnetic moment and the field, the external field force. So they tend to tendency the ripple or tendency to move the stronger to weaker part of a magnetic field. It tends to move the stronger to weaker part of a magnetic field. Stronger to weaker part of a magnetic field. So this means the diamagnetic materials are rippled by the field. Okay, the diamagnetic materials are rippled by the field. Okay, so the action is called as a diamagnetic action. This action is called as a diamagnetic action. Okay, so one, two, three point. First point, the electrons. Because the atom consists of large number of electrons, the electron, the orbital motion of electron around the nucleus, they producing a, they producing a magnetic dipole moment. Okay, how they producing a magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of orbit? Each electron they having a magnetic dipole moment. But the orbital motion of electron will be different, so they having a net net, net magnetic dipole moment. Be zero or there is a zero magnetic dipole moment. Okay, in the presence of magnet, when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, uh, <coughs> some of electrons will be speed up or some of electrons will be slow. Why the electrons will be slow? Because they are moving anti-parallel to the field according to the lens law. So they are producing an induced magnetic moment. 
so the induced magnetic moment allay the electrons are the magnetic dipole moment or the induced magnetic dipole moment will be allay opposite to the direction of a magnetic field opposite to the direction of a magnetic field the next one is when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field there is an interaction between the induced magnetic moment and the electric magnetic field they tend to move the stronger part of a magnetic field to the weaker part of a magnetic field this means the diamagnetic materials are repelled from the what is that the diamagnetic materials are repelled from the magnetic field okay clear so some of the features so this type of action is called as a diamagnetic action so okay then the properties of a diamagnetic what is that the properties of a diamagnetic the first one magnetic susceptibility what is that the magnetic susceptibility is negative what's the first property the magnetic susceptibility is negative okay then second point the relative permeability what is that the relative permeability is slightly less than 1 okay slightly less than unity okay so the magnetic field lines are repelled what is that the magnetic field lines what's that point the magnetic field lines are repelled the diamagnetic materials the magnetic field lines are repelled the diamagnetic materials when it is placed in a magnetic field when it is placed in a magnetic field okay and the fourth point the susceptibility is what is that the susceptibility is independent of temperature the susceptibility is independent of temperature and the last point the examples of a diamagnetic materials so guys what are the examples of a diamagnetic materials bismuth copper water what are the what are the examples of diamagnetic materials bismuth copper and water so guys what is diamagnetic materials are how the materials will be classified well, because the magnetic materials are classified into three types based on the behavior in magnetic field okay based on the behavior in magnetic field the first one is the diamagnetic material in which the electron the revolving around the positive charge nucleus so whenever the orbital motion of electron producing a magnetic field which is perpendicular to the plane of orbital and they have a different number of electrons so they have a different magnetic type of moment which will be moving in a random manner so the net magnetic moment will be zero or there is a zero resultant magnetic moment okay clear so when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field some of electrons will be speed up some of electrons will be slow Why the electrons are being slow means uh, the electrons are moving anti-parallel to the field. So they inducing a magnetic dipole moment. Okay, they inducing a magnetic dipole moment. This induced magnetic moment align the align the induced magnetic moment will be aligned in the direction of a uh, sorry, align opposite to the direction of a magnetic field. Then when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, there is a tendency to magnetic field move from stronger part to weaker part. Ah, uh, there is a force between the induced magnetic moment and the magnetic field which tend to move the material which is moved from stronger to weaker part of a magnetic field okay then what are the properties of magnetic susceptibility will be negative relative permeability will be less than 1 it will be when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field they will be repelled and uh, the susceptibility will be independent of temperature the last for example is bismuth copper and water what is that bismuth copper and water the next one is that paramagnetic materials The next one is on paramagnetic materials. Okay, in this material, each atom or molecule they having a net magnetic dipole moment. Okay, they having a net magnetic dipole moment due to the orbital and what is that? Due to the orbital and the spin magnetic momentum of electrons. Okay, they having a net magnetic moment. Net magnetic moment due to the orbital and the spin magnetic momentum of electrons orbital and spin magnetic momentum of electrons so due to the random motion of electron what is that due to the random motion of this magnetic moment the net magnetic moment will be net magnetic moment of material will be zero so due to the random motion what is that due to the random motion of a magnetic moment what is that due to the the random motion of a magnetic moment the net magnetic momentum of a material will be zero The net magnetic moment of a material will be zero. So what's the first point for paramagnetic materials? The net magnetic moment. What is that? There is a net magnetic moment due to the orbital and spin motion of a spin magnetic moment of an electrons. Okay. Due to the random motion of a magnetic moment, 
the net magnetic moment will be zero. Okay, clear? Now, when it is present in a uniform magnetic field, when it is present in a uniform magnetic field, the top align. What is that? The top acting on the magnetic dipoles. What is that? The top acting on the dipoles, which will be aligned in the direction of the field. As a result, the net magnetic moment will be induced, which will be direct, which will be aligned in the direction of the magnetic moment. Okay. So when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, what is that? When it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, the net magnetic the top acting on a dipole. So what is that? The top acting on a dipole, which will be tend to align in the direction of magnetic field. So there is an induced magnetic moment. What is that? There is an induced magnetic moment. There is an induced magnetic moment. They tend to align the magnetic dipole moment in the direction of. Then to align the direction of a magnetic field here, opposite the direction of magnetic field here, align in the direction of a magnetic field. Okay, they tend to align in the direction of a magnetic field. Okay, then point number three here when it is placed in uniform magnetic field. Then so when it is placed in the non-uniform magnetic field, what is that? When it is placed in the non-uniform magnetic field. Okay, due to the presence of what is that? There is a tendency to what is that? There is a tendency to move from weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. What is that? Weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. Weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. So the induced dipole moment present as long as the external field will be exist. Okay? The induced magnetic dipole moment will be present as long as the external magnetic field will be exist. Okay? While when it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, what is that? When it is placed in non-uniform magnetic field, there is a tendency to move from the weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. So the material which exhibits the weak magnetism in the direction of magnetic field, what is that? The material which exhibits the weak magnetism in the direction of magnetic field is called as a paramagnetic materials. Paramagnetic materials. Okay? The examples. What are the examples we got? In which? The relative permeability what is the magnetic susceptibility is positive and small. Magnetic susceptibility is positive and small. Okay. The relative permeability is okay. The relative permeability will be greater than unity. Okay, relative permeability will be greater than unity. Okay. The third point. The magnetic field lines are attracted. What is the, the magnetic field lines are? Attracted the magnetic materials. Okay, when they are placed in a uniform magnetic field, the magnetic materials are the magnetic field lines are attracted to the paramagnetic material when they are placed in a uniform magnetic field. <coughs> then the susceptibility what is that? Here the here the susceptibility will be independent of temperature. Here the susceptibility is inversely proportional to what is that? Susceptibility is inversely proportional to the temperature. The susceptibility is inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay, and the examples are examples are aluminium, chromium, platinum, etc. Okay, the last one is the tungsten. Here yes, we know that. Huh? So when the temperature will be increases, what is that? When the temperature will be increases, the thermal vibrations will set up. What is that? The thermal vibrations will be observe the alignment of a magnetic dipole moment. What is that? The thermal vibrations will be observe the alignment of magnetic dipole moment. Okay? The thermal vibrations will be observe the alignment of magnetic dipole moment. Therefore, the magnetic susceptibility decreases with temperature. Okay? The magnetic susceptibility decreases with temperature. So this gives a relation x m is Inversely proportional to temperature. When the inversely proportional to temperature, we use the constant. So x m is equal to C by G. Here C represents the Curie temperature. Okay, C represents the this now this statement is called as a Curie's law, and C represents the Curie's constant. T represents the temperature in Kelvin. So we draw between the temperature what is that? We draw between the susceptibility versus temperature. Susceptibility versus temperature. When the temperature increases, the susceptibility will be it decreases. Okay, that's why we say that. Uh, as the so when the temperature increases, what is that? When the temperature increases, the thermal vibration outside the alignment of a magnetic dipole moment. 
the thermal vibrations absorb the alignment of a magnetic dipole moment. Okay, so they are inversely proportional to the temperature. So, exam is inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay, so what is paramagnetic materials in which for a paramagnetic material the net magnetic moment is sum of a orbital magnetic moment and spin magnetic moment of a electrons. So this magnetic moment, the net magnetic moment will be random in mana, so there is a net magnetic moment will be zero because the orbital the electron will be at random in mana, so the net magnetic moment will be zero, or there is a zero resident in magnetic moment. When it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, uh, there is an interaction between the induced magnetic moment and the force, they tend to move the all they tend to, there is a tendency to move in the direction of a uh, they tend to align in the direction of a magnetic field. Okay, when it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, the induced magnetic moment. Uh, in which the magnetic materials are moved from the or repel from the stronger bigger part to stronger part of a magnetic field. Okay, then property the magnetic susceptibility will be positive and small, the relative moment will be greater than 1, and it will be attracted when it is the magnetic field is attracted by a paramagnetic materials when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field. And fourth one, the susceptibility will be inversely proportional to the or independent of its temperature, inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay. Examples aluminium, chromium, and platinum. Then, curious law when the temperature increases, the thermal vibration upsets the alignment of a dipole moment. So, what happens there? The magnetic susceptibility will be decreases inversely proportional to the temperature. So, when the proportion comes to equal using a C, this, one, this is called as a curious law, and C represents the curious temperature, D represents the temperature in Kelvin. Okay, clear? Clear. Then, that one is a ferromagnetic magnetic. Okay, so the ferromagnetic materials are uh, <coughs> the same as the paramagnetic material. Okay, so as the atom consists of a, uh, as the atom or molecules in the ferromagnetic material, the process of net magnetic dipole is similar to the process of paramagnetic materials. Okay, but in which the ferromagnetic materials they contain a small region. Okay, the ferromagnetic materials they contain a uh, the small region. The region is called as a ferromagnetic domain. Okay, the region is called as a Ferromagnetic domain. Okay, clear. As the paramagnetic moment was small, it is called as a ferromagnetic moment in which the magnetic moment will be spontaneously aligned in the directions. Okay, the magnetic moment is now spontaneously aligned in a different directions. Okay, the magnetic moment is now spontaneously aligned in a different directions because due to the electron spin in the atom of a interatomic distance. Okay, clear. Clear. So the as, as the atom or molecule is a, as the atom or molecule which consists of in a paramagnetic process, they having a net magnetic moment which is similar to the paramagnetic materials. But the ferromagnetic material having a smaller region is called as a ferromagnetic domains, in which the magnetic dipole moment of electron will be aligned in a different directions. Why means because of interaction between the electron spin, which is dependent upon the interatomic distance. Because of a Electron spin which will be interact which, which will be independent of which will, which will be depends on an interatomic distance in which each domain having what is that each domain has a net magnetization in different directions. Okay, each domain has a net magnetization in different directions. So which will be varies from one domain to the other domain. So in which each domain having a net magnetization which will be different from one mile which will be varied from one domain to other domain which will be varied from one domain to other domain so when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field what is that? when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field there is a two things are possible okay <coughs> two processes will be taken the first one the domain having a magnetic moment parallel to what is that? the domain having a magnet, magnetic moment parallel to the field coexists so whatever the domain parallel to the magnetic field okay whatever the domain parallel to the magnetic field they are uh, growing cells okay whatever the domain parallel to the magnetic field they are growing cells then point number two the other domains which is not parallel to the field they are rotated along the direction of field okay so these are the net magnetic moment when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field what is that when it is placed in a Uniform magnetic field. 
When you displace to a uniform magnetic field, the net magnetization will be aligned in the direction of a magnetic field. They will be aligned in the direction of a magnetic field. Okay, clear? So when the ferromagnetic material is done, when the ferromagnetic materials are placed in a uniform magnetic field, the two processes will be take place. One, one process, the domain having a magnetic moment parallel to the field, grow in size. The second point, the other domains which is not parallel to the field, they are rotated aligned in the direction of a field. Okay, they are rotated aligned in the direction of a field. Okay, clear? Now, when it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, is done. When it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, the ferromagnetic material will have a strong tendency to move from the strong tendency to move from weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. Weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. Weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. Weaker part to stronger part of a magnetic field. This type of action is called as the ferromagnetic actions. Examples iron, copper, and nickel. Okay? Iron, nickel, and cobalt. Okay? Then properties. Here, the magnetic susceptibility. What is that? The magnetic susceptibility is positive and large. Magnetic susceptibility is positive and large. Okay? Then relative permeability is large. Point number two. The relative permeability, what is that? The relative permeability is large. Then third point, the magnetic field lines, what is that? The magnetic field lines are attractor. The ferromagnetic material, what is that? The magnetic field lines are attractor. The ferromagnetic materials when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field. The magnetic, the, what is that? The magnetic field lines are attractor. The ferromagnetic materials when they are placed in a uniform magnetic field. Okay, then point number four, the susceptibility, what is that? The susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature. The susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature. Okay, then last point, examples. What are the examples we have? Iron, cobalt, nickel. Iron, cobalt and nickel. So the ferromagnetic materials are also having a net magnetic moment similar to the paramagnetic materials in which the ferromagnetic material having a smaller domain is called as a ferromagnetic region okay or ferromagnetic domain in which the domain they having a magnetic moment because of a interaction between the star because of the result, interaction with the spin moment spin motion of electron with the interdomain distances okay and also each domain they having a net magnetic moment but they vary from one domain to the other domain when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, they have the two processes will be take place. One process, the domain which is parallel to the magnetic field, grow in size. The second point, the other domains which are not parallel to the magnetic field, they are tend to align the direction of the magnetic field. Okay? Then when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field, they tend to, the parametric will be having a tendency to move from weaker part to stronger part. Then uh, properties, what are the properties of the magnetic susceptibility is positive and large. The relative permeability will be large. They are attracted, the magnetic fields are attracted by the paramagnetic materials. When they are placed in a uniform magnetic field, then the susceptibility will be inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay. Then <laughs> Curie's base class. Okay, what is that? The Curie base class. What is that? The Curie base class. Okay, susceptibility will be inversely proportional to temperature. Is right? So, as the temperature increases, what is that? As the temperature increases, the ferromagnetic property will be decreases. Okay, because of a thermal dipoles, due to the increase in what is that? Due to the increase in thermal agitation of a dipoles. Due to the thermal agitation of a dipoles. So, at one particular temperature, what is that? At one particular temperature, the ferromagnetic material will be converted into Paramagnetic materials. So at a particular temperature T is what is that? At a particular temperature T is the ferromagnetic material will be converted into paramagnetic materials. Okay? This susceptibility is above the Curie temperature. What is that? This temperature is known as Curie temperature. Okay? The temperature is known as Curie temperature. Okay? The susceptibility material will be above the Curie temperature will be given by X M is equal to C by T minus x m is equal to c by t minus t c c u is c is the curie constant and t c is the temperature t is the curie temperature and kelvin okay clear so if you draw the graph
So for example, x of T C. The susceptibility of a material will be decreases. After this, the ferromagnetic material will be converted into paramagnetic materials. Okay, the ferromagnetic material will be converted into paramagnetic materials. So what is theory based on? As the temperature increases, the ferromagnetic property will be decreases. Because of the thermal vibrations absorb the alignment of the dipoles. Okay, so at a particular temperature, the ferromagnetic the ferromagnetic material will be converted into paramagnetic material. The temperature is called as a Curie temperature. It is given by the relation x m is equal to c by t minus t c. C this is called as a Curie space now. C represents the Curie constant. T c represents what is that? The t c represents the uh, temperature in Kelvin. Okay, then we get the graph. Okay, this is one of our important three mark question. The properties of a dia, para, and ferro. In which these five properties we have to learn. Okay, clear? What's the point of the relative probability will be <coughs> negative. So land is susceptible to negative. Here the susceptibility will be positive and small. Here positive and large. Here the relative probability will be less than one. It's greater than infinity. Here also very large. Here the magnetic field is repelled when they are placed in uniform magnetic field. Here the magnetic field is attracted. Here the magnetic field is also attracted. The first one, they are independent of temperature. They are inversely proportional to temperature. Here also inversely proportional to temperature. Here example is bismuth copper water. Here aluminium chromium platinum. Here iron cobalt and nickel. Okay. So for this session, we got only one question: properties of ferro, ferro and uh, diamagnetic materials. And second question: what is ferromagnetic domain? Okay. Okay. Clear. Clear. And we have to learn all these types of four five mark questions. Okay. So the three questions: one is five mark question, one is the properties of a para 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 and okay, time is.